Hey guys, this is Loves to Rock 24-7, coming at you with a little update. Um, I have so several iMacs um, that are the 1.83 Intel Core 2 Duos at my office. Um, I got one to uh, experiment with, and uh, one similar to it, not one of those. Um, and it had the same problem, so that's what I made sure of when I got it. And um, what I did is I took it apart and because it had no power, found out it was this board, this is the power supply, and for this particular model you have to get it to where it looks like this. Otherwise you're buying the wrong one. They have other ones on eBay that look similar to this but are the wrong part because it has to have this long wire and the ones that they had on eBay were probably about mm, this long so and it wasn't a square style like this so you have to make sure it looks like this this is the bad one I'm actually using the computer this is the iMac that I fixed that's how I'm doing this video and uh, so yeah, if you're a uh, iMac, the white one, it has to be the white one. Ever show signs of no power? Oh, figured out why it had no power. This capacitor right here is bulging, so it's gone bad. And uh, so you can buy a new capacitor, and that'll probably fix this board. Uh, I don't know what the value is. There it goes. Uh, 420 volt 150 microfarad and replace that capacitor you'll probably get yourself some power again and if that's the case I just go ahead and recap the whole board you know replace this one these two these two all these little caps replace them because they're probably bad and so I did not know that I just went ahead and replaced the whole uh, power supply and so I'll look at the ones at the school and see if they're bulging too and if they are I'll uh, see if I can buy some capacitors and replace the capacitors instead and um, work with it that way so if your white iMac has no power um, take it apart and believe me that's a difficult process because um, you have to use a, you know, a card to slide up into the back of it in, one, in the two side vents and it pulls the top off and you gotta take the screws out the bottom and then you have to take the screen out to get to the board but uh, once you do that just go ahead and uh, take this uh, take this board out um, do some diagnostics of it, see if it's a, do a visual diagnostic, see if it's got a bulging capacitor somewhere on it, and if it does, replace it, and more than likely that'll get it working again. If it doesn't, um, I got the one I got on eBay for, I think it was $17.99, something like that, pretty cheap, and uh, it was used, but as you can see, it's working. So um, definitely do that, and um, so once again, if it has no power, just you can do it yourself and save some time and some money and uh, not have to go buy a new Mac though you know who knows you may want to but for the average person that's not in their everyday budget so certainly it's not for me I can't just run out and buy a thousand uh, you know two thousand dollar iMac so I just rather keep the old ones running it's cheaper so, and that's kind of what I do for my job at uh, the school, is uh, keep their old Macs running so they don't have to buy new ones. But, enjoy this video. I was just rambling for a little bit, and uh, letting you guys know you guys can fix this yourself and uh, save some money. So this is Lost to Rock 24-7, signing off.